Today I'm going to talk about an alternative to NS test field, which is NS test view. Uh, we'll make a comparison of these two tools uh, in Coca application. Uh, first of all, uh, let me remove this dummy table view here and add it with the test view. All right, let's first take a look uh, in terms of the storyboard or the uh, similarities or differences between test field and test view. First of all, this is the test field that we uh, previously dragged into the storyboard. It works as a NS test field object and then also a NS test field style object. For the test field, as you can see, something that we are familiar with up here which is the scroll wheel. Actually, uh, NS test wheel is warped within a scroll wheel and then a clip wheel. Test wheel itself is a subclass of NS wheel, just like a collection wheel or table wheel. It could be scrollable. If we run the application just now, This is the test field. By default, it is uh, only one line. In general, uh, the practice is uh, using NS test field as a one line or to at most about three or four lines. Um, but sometimes we need a bigger area for the test content. Then it is better to use NS test field here. We could add a lot of nice, and of course it is scrollable by default. Next, let's take a look on uh, the attributes of these uh, controls. By choosing test build right now, and uh, choose attributes in Spata, we basically set some of the um, predefined uh, styles here like the test color or background, uh, we can set whether it is scrollable or editable, etc. For test view, if it is something about uh, the background information, we need to set it within the scroll wheel, like the background color or the elasticity. Uh, this includes the border type as well. Right now, it is showing a border, or we can hide the border like this. For some test view um, settings, we choose NS test view here, and then you could find like whether it is editable, setable, or um, whether it allows something like graphics or image editing within it. We could set uh, some test color or background for the test view itself as well. And it has uh, some more functionality um, compared to a test view, which is uh, about linguistics checking, like grammar checking, or uh, it could uh, detect the data uh, within the content of test view, say a hyperlink or phone numbers, etc. In general, we could um, add more contents into uh, NS test view, especially more nice of it. For the um, programming part of NS test view, say I want to access the test view within our code, we could drag an IP outlet to our view controller and then call it test view. Say I want to set the delegate of this uh, new control to our view controller as well. So I go to this connection inspector of the test view instead of scroll view. As you can see, there are some predefined actions. Um, let's start with uh, delegate and then point me to the view controller. 
in order to uh, use the delegate methods, we need to implement uh, the corresponding delegate as well. So I'm going to add a new part of extension for view controller to implement this ns test view delegate. For instance, uh, we could start with uh, the test view the change selection. Um, as you can see, the uh, style of this function is like um, those in collection view or table view um, that it has uh, the change um, callback method with the argument of the NS notification. So say uh, I want to print the content of the test view. We have the IP outlet here already. So I could access it using test view dot string. Unlike NS test field, uh, in NS test view, we assess the content using the attribute of string instead of string value. And let's try to run the application. Now, if I start typing, oh, by the way, when I just click on the test view, you can see um, there's the change is called already. So that means uh, we could trigger uh, the um, event by first selecting it. Uh, still remember that uh, for NS test field, we need to override uh, the become first responder in order to uh, track the um, initial uh, focus of the NS test field. So it sounds like it is quite good in using test view. And if I click several more times, uh, this the change selection uh, is called as well. And I can start typing and you can see the message is um, sent to this test view the change selection and then I can get the latest content of uh, the test view here. If I look at the NS test view delegate methods, we could find uh, some more information like uh, we can um, call our delegate methods when we click on a link within the test view or we could do some double click action as well. And uh, there are some parts for the pasteboard, so it is useful to uh, do copy and paste. Um, so basically, there are not other um, delegate methods for NS test view. So it is good to handle um, bigger uh, test content. We will try to explore more about NS test view later on. Uh, and I hope this is a good and quick uh, comparison between NS test field and NS test view. I will see you soon.